Welcome back friends. In this video, we will do hands-on with SQS service. Amazon SQS is a message queuing service. Queues are considered to be middleware components. Queues are one of the key architectural components of modern architecture to build and integrate decoupled systems using the asynchronous communication paradigm. They are used in enterprise software to decouple heavyweight processes and also used in buffer and batch types of tasks. Amazon SQS stores messages until it is processed, for example, by microservices and serverless applications. Amazon SQS provides queues for high throughput system to system messaging. With that brief intro about SQS, let's click on create queue. Now here we can create two types of queues, standard and FIFO. Let's create a standard queue for this hands-on. Once you understand of standard queue, you can create FIFO queue as well. For the queue name, let's call this SQS demo. For the configuration, leave it as default. Encryption. Defaults are fine. Amazon SQS provides in-transit encryption by default. To add at-rest encryption to your queue, enable server-side encryption. Since this is just for learning, the default is OK, means no need for at-rest encryption. For access policy, the defaults are OK. Rest all defaults are OK. Let's click on Create Queue. Now the queue is created. Now we can send messages and receives messages from the SQS queue. Here as you can find the queue name, queue type, queue ARN, queue URL and encryption. Below are lots of panels here, just ignore them right now to make the learning easy. If you click on more, you can find information such as how many messages are available, how many messages are in flights and how many messages are delayed. Our queue is ready. Now in order to send and receive messages to the queue, I will go to the top right hand side and I will click on send and receive messages. Here, let's send a message, hello world, and click on send message. Now as you can see that we got a message here that your message has been sent and is ready to be received. If you click on view details, you will get details about the message, message ID and MD5 of the message body. Let's close this. If you scroll down in the receive messages section, you can notice one message is available if I send another message. For example, another hello world and click on the send message. Now you notice that there are two messages available. Now we need to poll the queue to receive these available messages. So click on the poll for messages and polling will receive the messages. As you can see, two messages are being shown and the application can read the body and process them and can also read other details about the message. In an application, you will have to write consumer to process the received messages. When message processing is done, you delete them from the queue. You will write that in your consumer code, but here let me delete it manually as I'm pretending to be a consumer of this queue. Now, as you notice, the message available is zero. As you can realize, this is very simple. That's how SQS works if you look at it in a simplistic way. Now if you go back to your queue, here you can find a list of your queues in your account. To finish this hands-on, you can delete this queue and you are done with this tutorial. That's it for this lecture. I hope you got a good basic understanding of AWS SQS and hope you liked it. 